Well, Apple's earnings are out after the closing bell today. I want to bring in Rodman and Renshaw, senior technology analyst Aishok Kumar, uh, for more on what to expect in these numbers. And Aishok, uh, good to see you again. And you know, yeah. Apple is going to open above 316 today. There's all this bullish sentiment, it seems, on this company. Um, I think you're a little ahead of the guidance, right? Well, yes, uh, we expect the company to easily expect, uh, exceed uh, guidance of 18 billion on the top line and 344 on the bottom line. We expect a 2 billion upside to revenues and about a dollar upside uh, to earnings on the okay. strength of both the iPhone and iPad shipments. Right. And, and so then the question is, OK, so this could be a really good quarter for Apple. Um, but is that momentum going to continue? Right. Sheila was talking to us about Android coming on board and uh, stealing market share. What about the iPad and what about the margins there? I think as far as you know, today, if you look at the smartphone market, it's roughly about 250 million units annualized, growing about 20 percent compounded. And I, the, the iPhone operating system and uh, the Android roughly control about a third of the market. Uh, so it's not a zero-sum game between them. We think the growth will come at the expense primarily of Symbian, which has about 40 percent market share, and RIM, which has about 20 points of market share. So I think Apple still has a lot of room to grow uh, the market share in the smartphone. But grow segment, as fast, grow as fast as Android. Uh, not quite, you know. But uh, that being said, you know, we think uh, Apple will eventually get about 20 percent unit market share and probably twice that in terms of revenue market share, which uh, could give it a lot more running room for its uh, top line and earnings. But you write in your report, though, Ashok, that perhaps the business cycle for Apple would have peaked by 2012. Because of the problem, because of the uh, onslaught of Google, right? Because of uh, oh, the yes. question. Yes. Yeah, I think uh, the the message here is in a bit is you know Google is not the next Microsoft, right? So I think they're a very able competitor to Apple, and we think the ecosystem that's being developed around Android uh, will give uh, the iOS or the Apple operating system a run for its money. And that being said, the sweet spot of the smartphone price points will come down rapidly. Uh, which could create some pricing and margin pressure for Apple over the longer term. Well, because Apple doesn't really compete on the low end, right? Yes, absolutely. It's almost a, re a replay of the Mac versus the Wintel market in the PC segment. Okay, then lead us from all of that to the share price of Apple, which is, uh, as you can see there in the pre-market, up about 1% at 318. Um, is it priced too rich? Uh, not quite. I think if you assume that you know they can grow top and bottom line at about 15 percent compounded over the next few years, you can potentially envision a scenario where earnings are almost double of what they are right now, about $30. But that's you know, again, you know, a very optimistic you know projection. But uh, that being said, so near term over the next you know four quarters, uh, the company has significant tailwind as they expand their distribution uh, through multiple carriers on a global basis for okay. the iPhone. All right. And uh, just quickly, Ashoka, you mentioned something in your report, um, some speculation on your part, that the iPhone could eventually be sold directly to consumers. Uh, how much validity do we put into this? Yeah, I think the company is exploring this actively with the carriers. We think it's an eventuality. We think uh, sometime next year the company will start offering you know, unlocked phones to broaden uh, the distribution and also partly to stem uh, the momentum in the Android cam. So I think that's uh, uh, that's something only Apple can pull off, and we think the carriers will fold and fall in line behind Apple. Okay, all right. It could be very interesting if that does indeed happen, not only for the wireless carriers, but also for the companies, uh, the stores that sell the iPhone, like a Walmart or a Best Buy or whatever. Um, okay, Ashok, thank you so much for joining us. Ashok Kumar uh, talking about Apple's results.